Ladies and gentlemen, good evening. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Daniel, and I had the great fortune of spending uh, last year in uh, America at MIT. Now, for some reason, a lot of people seem to get the impression that MIT is full of geeks. Like people who wear t-shirts with equations on. <laughs> Sorry, excuse me a second, I've just got to... Uh... <laughs> Much better. Okay, there we are. <laughs> People who spend their days doing math. People whose idea of social interaction is looking at other people's shoes. <laughs> but of course, that couldn't be further from the truth. In fact, MIT boasts a veritable plethora of extracurricular activities, ranging from the Rubik's Cube Club to the Science Club to integration competitions, even to naked physics lectures. And in fact, <laughs> no, they really have naked physics lectures. <laughs> I, I walked into one of them by the state one. Um, <laughs> I wasn't naked, I promise. Um, and in fact, but most importantly, MIT actually plays host to a rather large number of a cappella groups. We have groups like the MIT Logger Rhythms, like the Coral Aries, like the Asymptones, the Christian group, the Cross Products, the Asian group, Syncopation, the Jewish group, Techia, etc. <laughs> and some might argue the jewel in the crown of MIT music is our very own engineer's drinking song. And anticipating our wonderful presidents would plan this talent show, I figured it would be a tremendous shame to deprive Cambridge JSOC of that uh, rather unique musical experience. So I decided to pack a few Americans in my suitcase, bring them back, and hopefully they uh, continue. So sit back. Relax, take out your calculators, and enjoy. <laughs> <laughs> Come to grow 